previous post, uh, I showed you how to map Windows shares into your Linux box, uh, of course already having the Samba application installed. And uh, this one, because we want to uh, want to have uh, tutorials of all types, I'm going to run a little simple XP tutorial, um, basically how to do the same thing in Windows, how to basically map network drives in Windows. So I'm going to try out a new screen recorder here. It's the Oripa screen recorder. I got it uh, online as freeware here. We're going to give this a try and see how this works for us. And we are... Are we recording? Let's see here. Mapping network drives. Under my computer, if you go to Tools, and again this is Windows XP, go to Map Network Drive. Simple enough. Okay. Now you've got a whole selection of drive letters to choose from. This is not important which one you choose. I would try not to make them overlap as much as possible uh, because with uh, USB thumb drives, as you pull them out, put them back in, they like to retain that drive information. So if you ever have to, those drives in at the same time it can be a little bit of conflict, which can be re resolved by changing the USB drive letter by going to My Computer Manage and then changing the drive letters under your disk drives on that menu. However, let's keep it simple, just talk about how to mount these network drives. Okay, you see I've got a variety of letters here. I'm going to choose R, I don't think I have an R drive yet, and then I'm going to go to folder. Now because I've mapped drives in the past, you notice I've got an IP address here and a couple letters. Whenever you share a network drive, or have a drive that you like to be shared, Notice under sharing and security here, a little small digression. Okay, under my, this is a external USB drive, 300 gig. Under the sharing tab, I've already enabled sharing. I do understand the risks. I've shared this folder on the network, and the share name is G. And I've allowed network users to change my files because I want people to have read-write access. So... <clears throat> When mapping that network drive, that's what this is. This is the IP address of the serving machine, and this is the drive letter to which it is shared as. So again, you look at 300 critical, uh, critical G, my external drive, share name is G. I like to keep it simple that way. So when you come here, I know that if this is that same box, 10.71.10.114, I'm going to map R. We're going to go to 117 because this is the computer that that machine is actually served on. So I'm just going to double check my IP. IP config slash all. And I am at 117. So I'm going to map one of my own drives as a network drive. Not a big deal. And there it is. And notice it also popped it up, G on 1071.10.17. So that's the G shared uh, USB resource, USB drive resource on 10.71.10.117, which is the serving machine. Notice here, now we have a new icon. This one looks a little different. This is how your network drives are represented. The same drive icon, but then it's got a little network pipe under it. So that's showing me that, yes, this is a shared drive, or this... Sorry, not a shared drive, but a network drive that's now accessible. And I checked to reconnect that logon, so every time I close down my machine, reboot it, as long as this drive is accessible, it will automatically make that connection for me. Now, since I'm actually on the serving machine that is serving all my network drives, I'm just going to disconnect that because I don't need to see that again. I've got it right here. And call that a tutorial. Thanks for watching.